So here's the BS400. Let's have a look at some of the features and see what it can cut. Okay, so now we have the BS400, which is the largest machine in the record power range for bandsaws. We have 416mm throat and a 305mm depth of cut. The machine comes as standard with a rip fence and the mitre fence. And as you can see, the machine is floor standing because of the height and gives you easy access to the lower wheel and also the dust extraction port allows you to extract from below and also underneath the table. On the top door we open up and we've got the grey cast iron wheel which is nicely balanced. The tensioning from underneath and the tension indicator and the quick release mechanism for when we're changing the blade and put him back to the same position. We've got the limit switch on the door for safety. Then on the tool post, which holds the guides, we've got it on a rack and pinion system, which makes for ease of use. We can close the door. And then once the machine's in position and set up, there's just a few checks before we start any cuts. First of all, I just want to check that the blade is sitting square to the table, at the side and at the rear. And also that the fence is sitting square to the table. We can also check that the fence is sitting parallel to the table by just offering it up to the machined slot that the mitre fence runs in, using that as your guide. An important one to just check before you start your cuts as well is we can run a straight edge across the width of the blade and then use your, your rip fence as your datum and bring that across and that will make sure that when we are going to push as timbers through they're going to be pushed through parallel and not to one side or at an angle which will affect the set on the teeth. The guide system on this we've got three guides above and three guides below and they're easily adjustable to suit the different blades that we do. On the BS400, you can run from a quarter inch right through to a one inch blade. And obviously, each time we change the width, the guides need to be adjusted quite easily for the different settings. Once all this has been checked, we're ready to run the machine and try some cuts. On the BS400, we've got a two horsepower motor so you'd expect it to cut a piece of timber like this quite easily. So we'll just see how we go on with a piece of maple, just cutting a, a fine veneer. Okay. So let's push the BS400 to its maximum. We've got 305mm under the guides. It's not something you'd want to do on a regular basis. On a regular basis you want to be looking at just over two thirds for the cutting height. If you've got the right blade on and the feed rate's right, there's no reason why you shouldn't do it though. Let's have a go. 